Welcome to the final video of the how to play series of the entity. Um, last time we spoke about the exploration, uh, uh, one of the expedition parts. Uh, the second part of the expedition is to um, optionally choose your site activity. You do not need to. You can go from. You can. You can just make one exploration. And finish your expedition and go into next expedition with next exploration. You can do that. There is no reason to do that <laughs> because um, there are some very cool activities you can do. Okay, so right now let's just summarize where we ended. Um, I was in the Shimmering, uh, shimmering Miracle location and I have a really nasty encounter with one of the beasts there. Uh, that we managed to overcome, uh, but there was nothing else to do there. There was no finding, there was no aspect. Uh, so right now I will decide to do a side activity. I can do one do per expedition. Um, expedition and exploration are different terms. Expedition came with uh, is it's consisting of exploration and side activity so right now we are doing side activity i can choose from five side activities the first one is collect the data so what i can do is to analyze this place where i am right now and gather some data which can be fine right now then uh recharge energy we have 10 energy, so we do not recharge any energy. Basically, you just follow the rulebook how to do that. Um, you can just recharge your energy. Uh, some part of energy. Uh, gather resources. Right now, I can, in the Shimmery Mirage, I can try to find some cool resources to raise my resource um, uh, capacity. And when I will have a 10 capacity, I will use them to implement upgrades, which is a, another side activity. And then the last side activity is self-repair, which I can get uh, uh, when I can get rid of strains. I have two strains, I have plenty of space. Right now the strains are fine, I assume so. So right now I do not need to self-repair myself. I do not have enough resources to implement an upgrade. We need 10 resources. Oh, even the self repair is cost five resources, which do I do not have. Then there is get resources can be cool. So we can get further upgrades. Uh, but right now I think I love the data because in last encounter, uh, we, we have a role we have an encounter role. Those are two. Those are those two, and we get a challenge threat three. So I get into the place. I have a travel encounter, and then I have a location encounter. I get strains, and I did. I get. I get no aspect, and I want to have an aspect, and to raise my luck uh, to get into the role of ten. I need data. Data is really crucial, very fine. I need data. So I want to collect data and I want to be sure that my next expedition, uh, exploration will lead to an aspect. I want that. So I want to have some data. So right now I am on in the shimmering, shimmer mirage location and I want to collect data there. I will see how much successful I am. So, collect data. Let's do this. Initiate this side activity by adding your analyze trait. My analyze trait, uh, analytics, sorry, uh, is okay. I do not, this is, a, I, I just need to rewrite, but basically it's analytics. Um, my analytics are four and, and add it to the number of four. So eight. This is the target number I need to roll. It's easy. 
it's uh, it's data collecting is like that and when you get the resources you will do the same but you will lose adaptivity and add up number of four and when you recharge energy you will take technology and add number of four and you get the target number you need to roll and you will see what will happen right now analyze my analytics are four a number four plus so okay let's do this I am rolling an action check uh, for this. So action check, roll to d10, and you need to uh, you need to be uh, less or equal to the target number, to the difficulty class number. That's the terminology. And right now it's eight. So so first roll it's five. Second roll it's ten. So I only have a partial success for that. Okay, let's see what does it mean. Uh, in this side activities, be careful. It's not like a, it's not like a, uh, like a success rate in uh, in the encounters. There is no way you will get strains here or you will get impairments here. So always check the side activities and every single side activity has its outcome in its description. So right now I have partial success. So gain data equal to half of your analyzed trade value rounded down. So my anal uh, analytics, it's analytics, sorry. I'm really just right now I'm, oh yeah, it's analytics. So I need to, I need to update the rule book, but basically it's, it's that. Um, uh, give me a second. Okay. So, uh, uh, gain data equal to half of your analyti analytics trade, trade value rounded down. My analytics is four rounded, it's two. I received two data with my site activity. Two data. And that's the end of the expedition. I have an exploration, I have an expedition, and that's it. So right now, let's do another one of, uh, another one expedition. Right now you can close the video because you have all the rules. I will do one additional expedition just to show you, just to summarize it or something like that, or you will see it. Consider this as a quick gameplay around. So, I am I, I am going to the next uh, to the next um, expedition because I closed this, the first one with the exploration and site activity, and right now I will do my site activity first. I will again use my collection data again. So before exploration, which is mandatory, I will do site activity. So. Let's roll it. Analytics is four plus four, eight. I need to roll eight. So I roll five and one. That's a perfect success. And in the perfect success, you will get a full, uh, you will get a gain data equal to your analyzed straight, analytics straight. So it's four, amazing. I have additional four data. Awesome. I have six data right now. Um, so I was just checking shimmering medical with my scanners. I was analyzing the the things uh, in the advanced in the advanced storytelling guide. There will be generators, what information you find, uh, and so on. So it will just you can go deeper into your storytelling. But right now, uh, I feel pretty much uh, pretty much just. Uh, uh, in a mood of storytelling, so so uh, I was gathered information about the Shimmer Mirage uh, that uh, this is a place for that beast that's already attacked me, and those beasts are generating those illusions. So basically, it's not an environmental um, trait; it's a it's basically a thing that those creatures are do, uh, are, are creating uh, with just their uh, with just their um, 
uh, traits or uh, uh, or attributes that they have. They're creating this illusion that, that this mirage is creating by those creatures. And I just find out with those information and I collected that data and I collected plenty of full of another data there. So that's that's all I can do in Shimmering Mirage. Um, I just want to move to another destination. So I did my side activity from the expedition and right now I'm going to exploration. So I want to identify a location. Okay, so I will just switch on my scanners and I want to find out the potential location of, um, of, uh, of an aspect. Maybe I will find it uh, right now. So we want to identify a location. So let's go to the location table and roll a D100 where we will go. So it's uh, 88. Wow. So 88 is just a second. 88. The glacial maze. A network of colossal ice caves filled with intricate stalactites and stalagmites. Their surface is sparkling in the pale reflecting light is the location when we are heading. Um, so the glacial maze. Okay, that's the destination. We are now roll the travel encounter if you help someone. Right now I can use data to raise my probability to avoid the challenge but no i will leave all the data for the location encounter because i really want to roll 10 and have a possibility of get an aspect so travel encounter roll the 10 nine i roll nine so nine is an opportunity that's awesome so we will see opportunity. I will roll two. I'm rolling 67 and 67 is you discover an alien holographic archive filled with ancient data. Decoding it provides four data on a success. Whoa, that's cool. That's really fine. So I can use information technology or communication to decode this thing. Um, I will probably go for, hmm. I will go for IT. So my target number, my difficulty class is seven. So I will seven and I really want to have the data. So what I can do? I can reroll my die with the in uh, with this integrated multi tool. So yeah, using two energy, I have still have ten energy. I can shield myself with strain, or I can convert. So okay, I will. I am definitely want to use my it. So it the, the the target number is seven, and I will roll it. I roll one and four. Wow, now, now we have a full success. So without any complication, I decrypt those, um, wait, wait, it's, uh, uh, I decrypt this alien holographic archive, I decode that, and I get really, really cool data uh, regarding the, uh, the, the, the culture that lives here uh, before, be, uh, before, like in ancient times. And I will get four data on the success. So I am in full. I have 10 data right now, 10 data, uh, which is fine. I cannot get any more data, but I can definitely spend those. So yeah, that's fine. That, that was my travel encounter. And if you want to, 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 to roll it, you can just roll a location where it happened uh, and so on. In advanced storytelling, it will have some also some features like, uh, and <coughs> sorry, environmental features like, like you are in the cave, you are in the, uh, you are nearby the ancient monolith, or or nearby the wreckage. 
So right now we, we find it in the old um, in the, in the in the old wreckage of some alien vessel, space vessel. I found this holographic uh, archive uh, on my way to to the destination. So we are uh, arriving at this crystal maze uh, location, and right now I will roll a location encounter. What is happening there? And right now, I will use six six of my data. So okay. I, normally I am using like uh, uh, like laminated and stuff and just quickly uh, raise it but for, for this purpose I will use like six data so one two three four five six and I will receive plus six to this roll and we will see what will happen those data are last I only have four data left and but I get plus six to this roll right now. And I get a four. A four. <laughs> Which means we are on ten. Oh man. When I roll two or three, I will lose this data and I will do not get an aspect. But right now we have a possibility to have an aspect. We roll ten plus, we roll ten. <laughs> so there is a challenge there is an opportunity finding and an aspect so i will i will i will, I will note that so challenge let's go for the challenge so challenge oh, opportunity finding and then aspect so let's do the challenge the thing is right now when we fail the challenge when we fail the challenge all this is gone and I need to leave the area where I am. You can still use your side activity, but it is something like on nearby place or or, or, or your place way out from here. Uh, the side activity is not necessarily uh, uh, is performed on this place that you are. It's up to you. You can even go back to your sanctuary and then use side activity. It's up to your storytelling. Uh, so right now, let's do the challenge. Let's do the challenge. Let's roll for the challenge. Um, there is no thread value, so I need only to get past it once. So let's do this. The first number is... 10 and 6 so it's 0 0.6 so it's 0 0.6 a sudden torrent of chaotic data burst from a near source and threatens to overwhelm your system so when I came in there was a really such such disruptive energy uh, just attacking my systems I need to overcome that and I can use information technology or communication oh, okay okay I will use information technology which is has a difficulty class of seven so I will roll it and I get eight and nine so I fail I have a failure right now what does it mean I will fail the challenge and nothing of this will happen so those interferences just 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 force me to leave this area and I do not want to do that I really do not and also I will get an impairment which is a permanent damage that that's bad I, I do not want to do I, I do not want to have it what what is my options integrated multi-tool and I and I and I and I can use him several times of re-rolling until I have an energy so I have 10 energy right now. I definitely will use it, like, like two energy to reroll one of those dice. And I get five. So I finally, so, so I get passed through it. Do I need to reroll more? I can reroll the second dice, which will give me an opportunity to be, to have a perfect, uh, to have a perfect, uh, uh, success which uh, which is avoiding me a strain I right now will just receive my strain so some of my systems get 
uh, get uh, uh, corrupted for uh, for uh, for some time before I do um, uh, until I will, will uh, recover them or um, repair them. So uh, I get passed to the challenge. That's fine. I, I get passed to this tra- to this disruptive force. So right now we are in the opportunity. So okay, I'm here in this in this in this maze. And uh, there is an opportunity for me. What's what's that? I will roll the D D one hundred in opportunity table. So I am rolling one and eight, so eighteen. Uh, you stumble upon a flowing river of a strange substance exhibiting high energy properties. I can gain four energy on success. I have two energy. I can receive four energy, but when I will have a partial success, I will get a strain, and when I will fail, even if it's if it's uh, give me finding an aspect default, only failing challenge in location encounter means that you need to get out. But oppor- failing opportunity is fine, but I'm not sure if I want to have an impairment, and I'm not sure if I want to have additional strain. So I will pass that opportunity. I will okay, fine. <laughs> Let's leave it there. I'm I I do not need that much energy right now, and I want to not risk it. So yeah, that's the variant of opportunity. You can just leave it as it is. Fine. I I get past in it. So yeah. Uh, then there is a finding. So let's roll for the finding. So D one hundred roll. 65 in a finding. 65 is an abandoned data drive provides valuable insights about the previous inhabitants. Gain two data. That's fine. I gain two data. So we are on the six data. Fine. I'm pretty happy with this expedition. And guys, finally, I get a first aspect. So yeah. We have a first aspect, and I have six data for this for an addition uh, for the uh, for an additional uh, expedition. So we are right, I'm feeling fine right now, um, uh, and this expedition is over, and we will go to the next expedition. But this video is going to end, and it's up to you to uh, to to go for the expedition, enjoy the game, and and make a, uh, and make a, make a mission. One important thing: when I will get four of those, uh, when I will get four uh, aspects, I will finish the mission. And right now, if this was like fourth aspect. I build up in my sanctuary a Xeno lab. I will check the structures and find the Xeno lab. Xeno biology, biology lab. This controlled environment simulates various alien ecosystems, allowing for advanced study and experimentation. So I will get biology plus one permanently. So this is a permanent. Even when my character will get destroyed, he even lose all the upgrades, but this will be permanent. So, it is uh, creating a new character means that he will have a biology plus one already. So, if I will build up the bio lab, my bio will be plus one, which is fantastic, permanently. And that's not end. There is at the end of the book. A discovery. So this is like a main story of it. And I will read out the first entry. And notice that. Uh, I, I will discover something about the, about the mystery of the game. Uh, when you successfully made up the mission. And that's it. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your support. A huge thank you for your support. So... Cheers, guys. Uh, we will. I hope we will see you soon in the next videos for advanced storytelling for Entity and many other projects. So stay tuned, guys. Bye.